Jonathan. I'm good. Good for you. You like the new camp, Reverend? Oh, yes. We moved, didn't we? God help us. <laughs> hey, Arthur. C can I have a quick word? Yes, Miss O'Shea. Ah, call me Molly, would you? Oh. Arthur, how is Dutch? I mean, how does he seem to you? I'm about the same as usual, I guess. I... I really love him, you know. But if he... Like he always says, loyalty is everything, so... Arthur! Excuse me, Miss O'Shea. What you want? I bring a gift. The great gift of information. So you got some tip-off, so now... I can yeah. risk my neck and make you some money while you lounge around. You know, Arthur, bitterness, it, it works on the inside as well as on your sour face. If you say so, <laughs> but you could go find some other fool to run your errands. Bill, come on over here. Will you be my other fool? You too, Charles. What are you talking about? Arthur's above a little stick-up I heard about. No, I'm not. You just said. Hey, I'll do it, as long as you ride with us. <laughs> well, I got a serious medical condition. Yes, you are a compulsive liar. No need to be like that. Charles, have I ever lied to you? I hardly know you. Exactly. Now, you boys should do this. It's easy, and I'll only take a small commission for my information. But it's now or never. Then it's never. Oh, God help me. Fine. I'll do it. <laughs> well, what is it? It's a supply wagon carrying payroll, but... Very briefly unguarded, apparently. As it passes through a crossroads near here where there's an old ruined church before it connects with the rest of the wagon train. Very easy picking. As long as we get paid or you get shot, I'm happy. You are a sick man, Arthur Morgan. A very sick man indeed. This way, bunch of smart Alex. Yeah! How do you get wind of this, old man? We've only been down here all in five minutes. Well, wow, you boys been off fishing or playing lawman or whatever the hell you've been doing. I've been getting down to business. <laughs> Finding the nearest grog house. Hey, you don't want in on this, Williamson. That's fine by me. Do us all a favor. Head home. Just give it a rest, you two. Just have a little faith for once, will you? I've been scoping jobs like this since you fellers were knee-high to a grasshopper. Once a decade, maybe. So what is it you've scoped here, exactly? Well, I told you. There's a wagon with a lockbox passes through every week. They switch outriders just north of here, but the front wagon's by itself for a stretch before the last run down in the roads. <laughs> I've been watching them. Okay, hold up here. We should cover our faces. They'll be passing through the crossroads up ahead. When? Soon, Williamson. Christ's sakes. I should be due any time now. Let's keep this quiet and clean. Nobody needs to die here. There! You see, gentlemen? <laughs> Just like clockwork. <laughs> You know, boys, I, I don't, I don't want to get shot, but this is a mistake. I work for Cornwall Kerosene and Tar, Mr. Leviticus Cornwall. Oh, great. So you know him? <laughs> Who doesn't? I hear he's rich enough to share the wealth around and not miss it too much. Oh, he'll miss it. Okay, why don't you check out around the back? Arthur, help me out here. Check the boxes at the back, Arthur. Oh, let's see 
what's inside. <clears throat> okay, we're looking good. Must be nearly a thousand here. Shit! Hey! Think I see something! Oh, great. Let's go! Arthur, let's go! Yeah! Stay until dark, and then we'll sneak out of here. Charles, you keep watching now. Sure. Well, we, uh, get some rest. Ugh. All right. Let's try and get out of here. Hey, shit! Absolutely. Shut up, old man. Look, I was just trying to... Shut up. There's a light over by the house. Damn. I right, now let's just keep this calm. See what happens. Is this your place? Kinda. Uh, and you didn't hear nothing? I... I... Why don't you just tell me, partner, what you heard? I, I, tell me what you heard. I don't, I don't maybe I, I heard some noises out by the barn a while ago. Ain't me. It better not be. All right, coop forth. Lo, go check out the, the barn. Sir. <clears throat> Place looks deserted enough. Sure. You head inside, I'll go round the back. I keep this coal marker. They were sick as from finding 
this anyway. Deal with you later. Uh, we got some money, didn't we? Sure, but now we got corn on our backs. It was an honest mistake. Hey, leave it, Quan. Get out of here. Every man split up, Quan. Run quick. Good luck, Jones. <sighs> Stay quiet and move. Christ's 
sake. You think I'm joking? Easy, whoa. pasión no la comprendo si la comprendo no la puedo expresar voy a esconder tu languido gemido allá en la tumba va a poder descansar Yo no siento el que me hayas querido. Yo no siento el que me hayas amado. Solo siento el que me haya cambiado por otro hombre más inferior. Que yo, ángel de amor, tu pasión no la comprendo. Si la comprendo, no la puedo expresar. Hello, Arthur. Impressive. I like that one. You okay with this spot for now, Mr. McGuire? Ah, oh, sure. I like to keep moving, I do. It's in me blood. Along with a lot of whiskey. I reckon that might be enough for me. Giving me that lost puppy look. So, 
You're speaking to me, at least. Oh, it is always about your needs, isn't it? I have never known a woman with so many needs. You don't know the first thing about a woman's needs. How selfish are you? Are you even aware of the price on my head? The pressures I'm under? If you'd only talk to me, I could help. I want to help you, Dutch, but there's this wall. You can help by leaving me alone so I can actually think for once. You're a bastard, Dutch Vanderlind. That much is painfully clear. Greetings, my boy. Will you be quiet? I am trying to read here. Ha <laughs> oh, ha ho! Cheer, Arthur. <laughs> sure. You stalking me too, Arthur? You getting crazy, Dutch? Well, I've always been crazy, Arthur. You know that. Are you, an imbecile? you are starting to unnerve me, friend. I don't, I don't think you want me any more unnerved than I already am. I think I caught you at a bad time. Just don't play games, Arthur. I ain't. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Sure, Arthur. Good job finding this spot. You found it too. I wouldn't have if you hadn't talked me into it. <laughs> <laughs> 